Nestled in the heart of Redwood City, California, stands a monument of stone and history, the Pulgas Water Temple. This architectural marvel was born out of the need to commemorate a monumental achievement, the completion of the Hatch Hatchy Aqueduct in 1934. This aqueduct served as a lifeline, ushering water from the majestic Sierra Nevada Mountains to the parched lands of the San Francisco Bay Area. Close your eyes. Imagine the journey of water. A journey that began in the lofty heights of the Sierra Nevada, where snowflakes danced from the heavens, amassing to an astounding 400 inches of snowfall each year. As the sun's warm embrace kissed the mountain peaks, the snow yielded and water was born, coursing its way through the rivers and streams. This life-giving liquid treasure was collected in the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir, a guardian of sustenance. The Pulgas Water Temple stands as a sentinel at the journey's end, a testament to the indomitable spirit of human ingenuity. But the tale doesn't begin with grandeur. It begins with a makeshift water temple of plywood, hastily erected for the 1934 opening event. This humble structure, a temporary guardian, marked the confluence of Hetch Hetchy Water with the local waters of San Francisco. Yet, time and tenacity paved the path to permanence. Four years later, rising above the site like a phoenix from the ashes, the Pulgas Water Temple took its rightful place. Crafted with meticulous stonework, the temple's form bears resemblance to the Sano Water Temple, a tribute to the confluence of three underground water streams in the East Bay. In the hands of architect William G. Merchant and master carver Albert Bernasconi, the Pulgas Water Temple rose to become an epitome of architectural elegance. The very essence of ancient Greek design embraced the temple's structure, while its purpose whispered of the Old Testament's significance. Etched into a stone ring, elevated 60 feet above the earth on columns that reach for the heavens, an inscription tells a story. I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people. As you step into the temple's vicinity, your senses awaken. The air holds a trace of history, a tale woven into the stone and earth. The gentle trickle of water reaches your ears, a melody of life. Your gaze meets a reflecting pool, mirroring the sky above and the temple's timeless beauty. To stand here is to touch the past and the present, to understand that progress often comes at a cost. The aqueduct's triumph over nature now seems commonplace, taken for granted by the citizens of San Francisco. Yet, the water that flows through the temple has changed. It bears the marks of treatment, of purification processes that safeguard both health and the ecosystem. The Crystal Springs Reservoir's water, once diverted, is cleansed of its additives, a necessary ritual to preserve the delicate balance, according to the water treatment facilities. Are you ready for a journey, a pilgrimage to this temple of water in history? Lace your hiking boots and follow the unmarked trail that begins near Canada and Edgewood Roads. As you pass through stone gates, you step into a realm where time dances to a different tune. The temple beckons. You heed its call. The Pulgas Water Temple's columns reach for the skies, and its presence is both majestic and serene. The tranquil, reflecting pool, like a sleeping lake, it mirrors the temple's grandeur. You're here, a witness to the story of water, of resilience, of the unbreakable bond between nature and human endeavor. Keep in mind the temple's schedule, though, for it's opened its doors to curious souls, typically only Monday through Friday, a sanctuary of knowledge and history from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. There are no barriers to entry, no admission fee, no parking. The doors swing wide open, embracing all who seek to connect with the past and the essence of water's journey. Remember, though, that the reflecting pool is not a waiting pool. It's a testament, a mirror that reflects the grand narrative etched in stone. Some have been tempted to dip their toes, 
but the water's purpose is to reflect, not to embrace. So as you stand before the Pulgas Water Temple, take a moment. Inhale the whispers of history. Listen to the gentle symphony of water and absorb the tales of past and present. This temple of stone and spirit stands as a reminder of the brilliance that can emerge when humans harness nature's gift. And it echoes the eternal truth that water is life. A truth that reverberates through time. A truth that connects us all. These are interesting things with JC.